gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Asia Professional Speakers Singapore Free Convention Dinner. And now, would you please put your hands together for the President of APSS, Shirley Taylor. I was at the NSAA Unconvention in Brisbane a few weeks ago, and Margot, I'd like to quote something that you said. <laughs> Margot said in her welcome address, as president, we stand on the shoulders of all the giants that came before us. Margot, I thought that was wonderful. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I am very proud to be the president of Asia Professional Speakers Singapore. <laughs> Thank you. And I feel as though I am standing on the shoulders of many, many giants. And a lot of those giants are in this room tonight. So I would like to acknowledge and thank all the past presidents of APSS, who I have been to uh, many times for support, for mentorship, for hugs. I need my hugs. And also for love and friendship. Ladies and gentlemen, past presidents of APSS, Mr. David Lim. Christian Chua, Benjamin Cheng, Nishant Kasibatla, and Mr. Tim Wade. <laughs> what an audience we have here. Our theme this year at APSS has been, as you can see, passion, purpose, and progress. And I'm very glad to say that I'm very convinced that we've seen a lot of all these three things at APSS this year, have we? Members of APSS, we are very passionate, aren't we? We are all very passionate people. I've seen a lot of passion this year at APSS. Passion from our members for our association, for our speaking business, for our clients, and for our friends at APSS, and for the business of speaking. I've seen a lot of purpose, people with real determination and real dedication to just go for what they are dreaming of. I've seen a lot of that at APSS. And I've seen a lot of progress. Allow me to tell you some of the ways that APSS has grown this year. About a year ago, our membership was 89. And it's now, can I have a drum roll please? 135! We've also progressed in that we have monthly meetings and about a year ago um, we used to have monthly meetings with about 35 or 40 members. In the past few months we've been astounded. We're getting members, uh, pe members and guests in our meetings now, 50 and over 60 people at the last few meetings. <laughs> we've also got a brand spanking new website. We've got a fabulous new monthly newsletter. We have had many of our members featured on the radio this year. The man who's responsible for that, unfortunately can't be with us, but it's Andrew Chow, one of our executive committee, has been very influential. 
In fact, we've had so many people on the radio recently, I'm thinking they're going to give us our own channel. <laughs> and if you switch on any time during May, four times a day, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> What else have we achieved? Well, hang on a minute. Let me just think now. Oh, radio, radio. Oh, yeah. Just a little thing. This year, APSS has published our own book. <laughs> 88 Essential Secrets for Achieving Greater Success at Work. This book was written by 22 professional members of APSS. And it was published by Marshall Cavendish, and it's just, isn't it gorgeous? If you are a contributing author, would you please stand up and be acknowledged? <laughs> Amazing. I'm sure it's going to be on the bestsellers list very, very soon. So yes, great passion, great purpose, and huge progress. None of this would have been possible without the support of a fantastic team on the executive committee. Can I ask the executive committee, please stand up. Tim Wade, past president. <laughs> Vice president, Pamela Wigglesworth. David Lim. Nick French, our treasurer. Sharon Connolly, fabulous person. Thaddeus Lawrence. Ken Wong, where's Ken? And, oh, I'm going to give him a big kiss. Nisha Kazimala. Huh? You're too far away. None of this would be possible without our executive committee who work very hard behind the scenes. Ladies and gentlemen, there is one more person who works tirelessly behind the scenes and has a lot of to put up with. And she works tirelessly and very, very hard and very long hours. She's our administrator. Please thank Davina. <laughs> On your feet for Davina. Our members are very important to this association and I want to thank every one of you for your support over the past year and for your support that I know we can rely on in the coming years. Um, we've seen a lot of passion from all our members and it's great to see our members grow. Arriving at an APSS monthly meeting is really a fantastic experience. I don't know if anybody else feels it too, but it's like arriving at a close friends gathering or a family gathering. Isn't it like a family at APSS? Yes. We feel, um, we can feel the spirit. We call it now the spirit of APSS. The spirit of Cavett has overflowed. It's now the spirit of APSS. Arriving at our monthly meetings, we can feel that spirit and it's spreading around. I've made most of my best friends in Singapore in APSS. Many of them are in this room tonight. And I think a lot of you can say the same, is that right? A lot of your best friends you're making here. Joining APSS was the best decision I ever made for my speaking and my training business. Who can say the same? Yeah. And becoming a member of the executive committee, I have to say, has also been a great decision. So if you are thinking about it, I, I really strongly encourage you to do so. Think of joining your executive committee. When we serve, when we share, we gain so much more. Is that true? So thank you for being here tonight. Thank you to all of you for being here tonight. I think Cavett... Cavett's legacy is felt in this room here tonight. The spirit of Cavett is here in this room with us tonight. 
And I'd like to thank him for having such great passion and a vision to develop that Speakers Association that has just evolved into what it's evolved into all around the world, for having such great passion and for having such great purpose and determination to go ahead despite criticism. He knew it was the right thing to do. And because he did so, he has enabled all of us to make great progress. Great progress in our speaking careers, great progress in our lives. And he's enabled us all to help other people to make great progress and to affect the lives of every single person in every single audience that we address. So raise your glass and toast the spirit of Cavett, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this fabulous evening. I know we're having a good, going to have a good time tonight. Are you going to have a good time tonight? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful evening. Thank you.